Is it working? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> need of like a great self-care day. Wash my hair, exfoliate my body, shaving, bleaching my stomach, um, doing a great little facial moment. Um, oh, it's 10 a.m. I believe. I'm gonna head to Target. They don't allow you to film inside of a Target, so I'm definitely not gonna take the camera. I wrote down a list. I found this mug at the thrift store and it was like in the box. These are like limited edition. I thought I needed more than I actually wrote down, but I know once I get there, I'm gonna be like, I want this, I want this. So right now I'm sticking to my list. It's shampoo, conditioner, a bar soap, and it distilled water. I look rough, you guys. I'm in desperate need of this self care day. I got in my car and I realized I don't have fucking gas. I can go another day without gas. I'll put gas later. Ugh, whatever. I literally hate putting gas. I wish that was like not a thing. It won't be a thing when I get a Tesla, but <laughs> for now we're humbled. Okay, so I like to use the, the Dirty app to tell me what's in my products and what I should use or not. And I have been using this body lotion and I just checked it and it said that it can have long-term effects on me. So I'm gonna try to find a cleaner version, but also inexpensive. Just tested all of the products, lotion, body lotions here at Target and it comes out that the Up and Up is the cleanest one. It has this certain ingredient that's not the best for people with sensitive skin. I am back to Target. I also got some Starbucks. I said I wasn't gonna do this the Starbucks anymore, but honestly, I looked up every single product that they have with the app. Some of them weren't um, coming up through the barcode, and so I don't know exactly how many that I didn't get to see. For the most part, Dove, Suave, all of those brands that have been around for a while have ingredients that can have long-term effects on your health. I've come to find out that this native brand is actually the best thing you can buy for yourself. I always thought that this brand was a little expensive, but they're actually not that expensive. I mean, less than $10 for each big bottle and it only has like a few ingredients and every single one of those ingredients are clean. I think it's a good bang for your buck and I definitely recommend. So I got the coconut and vanilla body wash, cucumber and mint shampoo and conditioner because it said that it was gonna be used for volume, which I definitely feel like I need because my hair has just been looking so dull, flat, and not cute. 10 ingredients or less in these products and all of them are amazing. Like, this is the way to go. This is definitely gonna stick to my day-to-day -day life. I don't know why it took me forever to even try this, but I also got this great product for dark spots and evening my face. I have a lot of acne scars right now. I haven't really done much about it because I just wear makeup over it and it covers, but I would like to be bare face all the time. From the Palmer's brand, was the best face oil I could find. I also got a few eco tools. Um, this one has the foot scrubber. It's basically just like a brush. I'm definitely gonna be using this one for my feet only. And then this is a deep exfoliating sponge. Cloth, bath cloth it says. So I've never actually used it, but if you can tell, it like separates like this, and it's supposed to be for deep cleaning. And if you know Eco Tools, they are a great brand. Um, they use recyclable stuff and cruelty free, so that's always good. This is also a really great brand. I only ended up spending like fifty dollars on all of this, which I didn't think was too bad. I didn't take my little list that I made for myself and I completely forgot about the distilled water that I was going to use for my face steamer, for my face. My face is not doing that good, guys. I mean, look, I have no 
active acne. These are all just either freckles or a few of scars. Um, my under eyes are really dark. I'm trying to fix that. You're supposed to use distilled water for your face steamer, but I think I'm just gonna use purified water because I forgot the distilled water. Okay, I just finished showering. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm wow, that was a great shower. So I love the products. I shaved my entire body. Well, no, not really. I shaved my legs, my armpits, and my. So here I am with my up and up. I wish Native had their lotion at Target. I don't know why they didn't. But honestly, I really like the way this feels on my skin. It's not thick. This is what you gotta do when you're a hairy Mexican girl. You gotta make sure that all your arm hair is the one direction. I also use the foot scrub. Oh my God, I feel like everybody definitely needs one in their life. My feet feel fresh out of a pedicure shop. So now that I'm lathered up, I'm going to put my hair back and start on my skincare. This is the little face steamer that I like to use. I got it on Amazon. Actually, somebody bought it off my wish list. So before you steam your face, you actually always have to make sure that your face is already cleaned. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and wash my face. I use CeraVe's Foaming Cleanser. This is the only cleanser that's never caused any problems, no pimples, no rash, no skin irritations. I had the worst skin during 2020. It was really embarrassing. I hated showing my face on the internet. I still have pictures on how bad my skin was and it was all because of the face wash that I was using. I found out that it was for oil dry skin and I have oily combination skin. And so it caused so many breakouts and then after scarring on my face, so I've been really insecure about that, but thankfully, you know, I can obviously see it going away and I'm excited to start using this little face oil I just bought. The steam is still going on, but I'm gonna go ahead with the tools that the little steamer came. These are like facial tools to really go into those pores and get all that dirt and oil out. You cannot keep that in your face. Mm. Some already like pop out with all the steam. Y'all wanna see it? Yeah. So I went, I went a little too hard on my face. I'm like very red. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Rose Water Heritage Store brand. I used the Think Dirty app for this face toner and it did come out with one di dirty ingredient, I believe. But I've been using this face toner for like over a year and honestly, I always love the way my skin feels after. It's not like stinging or it's not like burning like a lot of toners do. It's very gentle on my skin. Think Dirty app also does <laughs> said there was a few dirty products in this ordinary hydrolonic acid serum but again i've been using this and it's what one of the products did when i had horrible acne last year my mom is so particular with us putting the products down our neck and always massaging them upwards to avoid wrinkles but self-care but you put the time and the effort you put into your body and your health overall is something that I've really uh, made a priority in my life for these past couple of years. Okay, now I get to use my new product. Yes, ma'am. It smells like, it smells pretty clean. Yeah, I like the smell. Mm. It just took my mouth. Okay, layer. You know what I need? A gua sha tool. That's something I do not have. But I'll definitely put in my wish list Amazon if anybody wants me to get me one. But for now, we're just going to bring the collagen to our face by applying a little bit of pressure and massaging this oil into my face.
So collagen is a protein that your skin actually has already and it's supposed to keep you very young. I'm gonna start aging at 25. I'm 24, I'll be 25 this upcoming year. So yeah, let's just try to get ahead of aging. Virgin coconut oil, um, I use this to oil pull. I also use this to moisturize my body too, honestly, but I'm gonna use it for my the ends of my hair. Some deodorants, and right now I am using the Tom's coconut lavender I don't like this one actually but I have it so I'm trying to get rid of it don't judge me vitamins that I take on a daily basis is this biotin I like to look to vitamins that are soy free because I actually found out that soy is probably the worst thing you can eat for yourself and I was vegan for two years eating a lot of soy so that kind of worries me so yeah this is basically my amazing self-care routine all of the products that I use are cruelty free there are some of the healthiest products also. I pay attention to where my money is going whenever I buy any products ever. I don't shop fast fashion. I think it all ties into spirituality as well because what you are putting into your body and onto your body is so important and the money that you spend on these products, you should be mindful of too. What are you buying? Who are you supporting? Are you supporting brands that are testing on animals? Are you supporting brands that are putting chemicals into these products that are going to have long-term effects on your health? No, I'm not a esthetician. I, you know, like don't go hard on scrubbing out your fucking pores, but I definitely think that I make investments into my self-care and I'm proud of where I, I stand on it. And I'm glad that I was able to show you guys what I use and maybe it can encourage you to go and be very mindful of the products you are putting, buying and putting onto your body. I missed a few things. I didn't bleach my stomach like I usually do. And you're probably like, what? I bleached the hair on my stomach because I'm a very hairy Mexican indigenous queen. I'm not wearing crop tops or bikinis or anything. And I'm not getting laid anytime soon so that's fine i'm okay with having a hairy bun set but thank you so much for watching my video tell me the products you want to incorporate in your self-care routine in the comments down below don't forget to like and subscribe but oh actually i did forget to tell you something you're amazing